welcome back to my channel. Um, I guess all of my intros are gonna have me looking like this if I'm doing makeup because I like it. <laughs> Simple as that. Just kidding. But yeah, so if I'm looking like this, that means going by this and the title, it's gonna be a makeup tutorial. Well, video. I don't want to say tutorial because um, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> and I'm just kind of like YOLOing it. Today I wanted to do um, something fun so I'm thinking that I want to do a e-girl style makeup. So to see this like eyebrow slit I tried doing like edgy. <laughs> yeah so we're gonna do red themes, so we're gonna be using the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So we're gonna do like a red, and I wanna do like a soft slash edgy e-girl vibe. So we'll see how that goes. I'm literally winging it, I don't know what I'm doing. So if you're interested in seeing that and watching this roller coaster train wreck, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I already did my face base makeup and all that kind of stuff. I do that to kind of save time so we can just focus on the eyes and then we can bring it in all together later. So the palettes that I'm gonna be using is the Bare Necessity palette that I used in my last video by ColourPop. It's a neutral color palette. I use them for transition shades. And then we will be using the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. Um, it looks like this. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Anastasia. I am never prepared for any of my YouTube videos. <laughs> so if you see me rummaging around, it's because I'm not prepared and I'm just kind of winging this as I go. So here is the Blood Sugar Palette. It has a bunch of different red and pink tones. So we're going to work with this. Yeah, we're going to work with this one and try to get that to work in doing like a red e-girl style vibe. And yes, my natural hair is back. I had taken out my sew-in yesterday when well, my husband helped me and this was my first time ever taking out a sew-in and then look what I did. Look what the fuck I did. Look at this. Look at this. Yep. I cut some of my hair off trying to uh, take it out myself so then my husband who's never done this before literally had me bent like my neck down and he was just snipping out the threads and snipping them out and then today I went and I fixed it washed and blow-dried and straightened so now my natural hair is back okay so I want to go for a red style look let me turn my phone sound off because y'all know how rude I am with that and the kind of vibes I'm going for is like I'll show y'all some examples in case you don't really know so there's something like this I really enjoy like the eye look of this one and then like this so I guess e-girls really have like a lot of blush and look very flushed and very cute and stuff and then you have like I guess edgier e-girls in case you're wondering like what the hell is that I found this on TikTok they're like TikTok queens when it comes to like e-girls and all that kind of fun stuff so I'm just going based off what I know from that. It's not necessarily like an actual definition of what the heck an e-girl is. I'm assuming e-girls are kind of like the old scene girls, like scene queens. I wouldn't say emo. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't. Mm, eh, maybe, maybe it could be a mi nah, nah. I'm thinking it's more uh, scene than it is emo. And in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just quickly running through the brushes that I'm going to be using and making sure that. They are ready for me to use because I am trash and didn't do this beforehand because we all know I am never prepared for a video. But yeah, I kind of really like how it looks. I like the cuteness of it, like the cuteness factor and that kind of thing. I think that's super, super adorable. Um, and everyone knows that I love a good moment where you look all cute and bubbly and all that kind of stuff. So. We're gonna see how well I can try to copy. Um, I'm going to pin my hair back or kind of like do like this because my hair is getting in the way. It's getting all crazy. So yeah, okay, let's zoom in and get ready for the for the fun part. Yeah, I have to manually uh, fix my stuff here. Okay, so. 
starting off actually i don't think i will be using the bare necessities palette because there is some decent um transition shades in this palette so the first shade i'm going to start with we're going to do one eye and i'm going to come back and do the other we're going to start with cake mix which is that shade right here we're going to use that as our transition shade the brush i'm using is the m441 by morphe and we're just going to put that all over the crease area just windshield wiper motions back and forth and I'm just gonna pack that color on honestly because I really like that color yeah it's a really nice transition shade I really like Jeffree Star cosmetic um, like eyeshadows and shades and stuff because they're so easy to blend like I put on a lot honestly I put on a little more than you probably should if you want to make sure you blend it out very well but it literally blends like butter. It just easily falls apart like you need it to. So now I'm gonna go straight in with a red. So I'm going to start with Prick here. The lighter red shade and I'm gonna be using the ColourPop E2 brush. I'm gonna tap the axis off because I did use a lot. And we're gonna put this basically everywhere but the lid. So I'm just going to go around. I'm focusing the color on the outer corner to start with. And then I'll slowly start to make bigger wiping motions. will then cover more area, if that makes sense. So starting in the middle, like smaller strokes, and then get bigger. So that way it covers more space. So kind of like that. And honestly, I don't mind being messy because I feel like with a lot of the pictures I've seen of e-girls, they're not like the cleanest looking. It's like some meant to look messy and not so neat. That's the word. Not neat. And that's the look I'm going for, honestly. So I'm just going to pack in a little bit more color. Just a tiny bit more. Because I want that to show up just a bit more. Whew. Bunch of wiper motions, and then like that. So now I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M441 and the shade Cake Mix, and I'm going to take that on the edges of the red just to make sure we blend that out a little bit more and make sure it looks not too, too crazy. Like I wanna be messy and, you know, all over the place, but still neat at the same time. So I'm trying to do a mix of both. Like a controlled messy, if that makes sense. Not really. I'm gonna wipe off my forehead big because that's driving me crazy. Okay. Okay, honestly, I like that. So now I'm going to go in with a smaller, more dense brush that I can control. So I can like, you know, focus the color where I need it to go. I'm going to use the, just an e.l.f. eye crease brush. It looks like this. Very small. And I'm going to go in with the shade Cherry Soda. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner. So I'm like going to pack this. Like outer corner crease. So like where you where my eye folds, so like if I relax, I'm putting it right there. And I'm gonna pack on that color. I'm trying to give my eye just a little bit more depth. Make my eye seem more sunken in. And I'm gonna bring that color all the way down because we'll be cutting the crease. So there's really no need to be neat right down here because we're going to clean it up anyways. So I'm just kind of going back and forth. And then I'm going to go in with the E2 brush we were using with the red, which had prick on it. And I'm going to blend these two colors right here. Going to go upward. Keep blending. Hmm. Keep blending. 
All right. So now I'm going to take that flat concealer brush that I always use. I'm like crazy looking one. And I'm going to take some concealer. If I knew, I just had it too. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna, ooh. my same concealer I always use, Urban Decay Stay Naked in the shade 30 CP. I use this to cut, um, or not cut, but clean up my eyebrows. I'm gonna take some of that. I'm gonna take a little, cause a little goes a long way when you're cutting the crease. So I'm gonna take that. And I'm just gonna cut my crease. Like so. So I'm doing kind of like a half one. It didn't fully go down. It kind of stops like right here. You could add a little bit more color if you wanted to make it more colorful. But I'm going to choose to not and leave it kind of like that. So now I'm going to take a flat shader brush or a flat packing brush, whatever you want to call it. And I think I'm going to take, hmm, I'm trying to decide if I want to put white first. Nah. So we're going to go ahead and take candy floss, which is this one. And we're going to put it on the shade of brush. Kind of want to pack it a little bit so I get a good amount on there. And I'm just going to place. like that it's very very pinky so now I'm going to go back with that same brush we used before the little dense shader brush here and I'm going to go in with blood sugar and I'm also going to go in with intravenous the dark shade right here and I'm going to put these in the outer corner I'm just gonna pack it on, I'm trying to give myself a little bit, bit of a deeper look, darken it up a little. I'm trying to get this little corner right here. There we go. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to go back in with that shader brush that we had the pink on. And I'm going to just lightly drag. I'm trying to be as light as possible. Now if that happens, where you see that little white, go back in with that other brush. And boom, it's gone. So I think we're going to leave it like that. Going ahead and put some eyeliner on. Going to go ahead and do my normal wing, which has been a little minute. It's been a good minute since I've done that. I'm going to start out small. Or thin, shall I say. I don't know if you can see that.
kind of like that. But now I'm going to actually pull up and make my eyeliner just a bit thicker. Kind of like that. It's pretty dark. Just how I like it. I'm gonna take some mascara. I'm using the Lily Lashes XXX mascara. All right, so this is one eye complete. Trust the process, trust it. And I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back and this is what the eyes look like. I feel like once I put on my eyelashes it made everything just come right together and it makes me look very doll-like and more like so I cut my crease on this side, did the exact same thing. I put white uh, water white eyeliner on the waterline um, and then I put some of the same color which was prick underneath on the bottom okay so now we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna zoom on out and I'm gonna do the blush now so I already wiped off the bake and all that kind of stuff so the blush I'm gonna be using is the same one that I used in my last video we're gonna be using the Patrick Ta she's passionate blush in a pinky color because I want to get that very like blushed and innocent kind of like vibe going on um hopefully it doesn't look too too crazy but we'll see so honestly i'm just gonna pack on the blush because that's the look we're going for i'm gonna actually take it on my nose as well kind of like make me look super flushed i'm gonna take it on this side as well you can already see the difference when i add the blush I honestly really, really, really dig this lots of blush look. Kind of makes me look super cute. So I'm going to take the blush upwards as well. The brush that I'm using is a Sigma F15 brush. It's like a duo fiber brush and I'm just packing it on. Putting it on my nose. Okay, kind of like how that looks so far. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face to kind of like take out some of like the cakiness. And I'm using the new Fenty Beauty, um, like this What It Do Mist. All right. Whew, makes me feel so refreshed. Okay, so now that we have that on, hmm. Guess we can go ahead and do lips. So for lips, I'm gonna use the Morphe Guide Me Pencil. It's kind of like a nudie mauve color. Almost brown. And I'm just gonna fill them in. Tell you so y'all can see. Just like so. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely a lot. Is it e-girl vibe? 
I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe I should add like a little heart on my face and maybe that'll make it more e-girl like. Like with eyeliner, but I'm afraid I'm gonna fuck that up. So we can try and see if that'll, if I can do it. YOLO, I guess. Oh god, I'm gonna zoom in so that way you guys can see me try to fail at this. Oh, that's a really big one. It's actually a lot bigger than I anticipated. It's a lot bigger than I thought I would make it. <laughs> what? Oops. Oh well, I mean it's kinda it's kinda cute. Kinda cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my hair down. I mean it's not it's not terrible. Kinda make the like the look like, the e girls kinda like pout a lot They're, like I'm trying to be e-girl like and I'm trying to think of other things that they do like <laughs> well I hope you guys enjoyed today's attempt of a look I tried to do um, an e-girl vibe but I really wanted to use um, reds and pinks and that kind of thing I do want to show y'all today's outfit too because of my girls who have been following me waist training I kind of want to show you um, what I am wearing, so we're going to try to, we're going we're gonna to try to, Ooh. okay, maybe that's good enough, okay, so I'm wearing this really cute long sleeve, it's like a bodysuit, got it from um, Fashion Nova, you guys have seen it in my previous, well not previous, but in my last video of, um, how I dress my waist trainer. Um, I showed this one. And I'm also wearing these really cute leggings. I cannot remember where they're from, but I know I found them on Facebook. It was like a Facebook ad that I had seen. And I was like, oh, those are so cute. They're supposed to make your butt look bigger. But with the waist trainer on, it kind of gives me more of an even more hourglass shape. So I think it's super cute. So I was wearing like a sporty kind of, sporty kind of look. For the house today super cute really really like it so i was like let me show you guys what i was wearing today but yeah so that concludes today's trash i'm just kidding <laughs> full trash i am trash Ugh. i'm struggling so i hope you guys have a good rest of your mornings afternoons night evening whenever i upload this bye